What was the top point for you during your upbringing in Chicago? What was your highest point or most positive moment despite the description you presented previously? So, let me take y'all back. Like, me growing up, the people that know, like, that was in Chicago during the time period of me growing up, I was always a dancer. So, like, the whole Chicago knew I was that boy that danced. Like, I was, I was him, you feel me, with the dancing tip. I'd be at every single party. So, I would say the, the highlight of my Chicago life experience would be around when I'm 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. I'm going to parties. I'm with my guys. You know, I got a, I have my group of guys. You feel me? I stay with them. We would be just going to parties. The parties be busting because, you know, as soon as we come in, lights on us. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I walk, everywhere I go, because I, I would walk every single where I didn't. I'm not, I'm not in no gang, so I didn't have no beef with nobody. I would walk through every single block just, you know, motherfuckers would pull up on me like, man, why you here? I'm not in tune with nobody. I'm finna just walk wherever I go. But so it'll just be fun walking everywhere and just seeing supporters and fans come up to me in my hometown. So just basically seeing love in Chicago, like seeing everybody interact with me while I'm walking everywhere and just going everywhere, having fun with my guys, playing basketball at different basketball courts. All that was just the highlight. Like it was just so peaceful, so fun, man. I was back when Dub Smash was, you know, popping. And what led to dancing for you? Because there are some that take music a little bit more serious yeah. growing up, maybe sports a little bit more serious. Yeah. Why dancing for you? Dancing has been in my blood since, bro, since I came out the womb. I'm telling you, like, I I was, I, I'm literally a student of dancing. Like, I studied dancers like Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, Marion, um, Kid of the Great, like, all the people from... Back in the days that used to be on the little dance and shit, I'm telling you, I studied all of that shit. And I just became one of them. Like, it was just in me. Like, I'd be on at talent shows and shit every single year. I win a talent show on my life. I've never lost a talent show. On my life, pull up. Pull it up. Pull up the notes. Pull up the homework. Pull up whatever you got to pull up. The documents, whatever. Do your research. On my life, I never lost a talent show. I either came first, second, or third. I'm not, what? I'm one of them. Oh, bro. And speaking of talent shows, what's the secret on placing in one of those numbers on a talent show? Because there are some that don't get that far with it. I promise you it's all about the confidence. You have to rehearse in beforehand, and you have to have the confidence to be out there in front of however many people there is and just be you. Because they're going to feed off of the energy you give them. You have to be you in whatever you're doing. Because if you're trying to be somebody else or be on the stage being a, a rapper that you not, is gonna, it's not going to correlate and you're going to be, you know what I'm saying, like you're going to be insecure about the way that you perform it or whatever you're doing because it's not genuinely you. If you a funny nigga, go up there and be funny on that mother. Don't try to act hard and try to rap some some hard shit that you just wrote because, you you know what I'm saying, you try to act tough or whatever. If you one of the funny niggas, go up there on the stage and be funny. Like, you feel me? Just be you. I feel like that's all you need to do with the talent shows. I was genuinely me. I'm a dancer and I'm from Chicago, you know, back in the days. There are dancers, like, you know what I'm saying, footwork and everything. We do dancing and shit, but, you know, back in the day, they used to be, like, dancing ass nigga, dancing, like, all that little shit, you feel me? So I just stayed true to me, and I did my shit, and that shit worked out wonders for me, shit. Now, you mentioned a variety of celebrities here, like Chris Brown and Omarion and yeah. things of that nature. Do you know any of those people personally at this point? Um, I know Kidder the Great personally. Like, Kidder, that's my dog. He, he, was, uh, he hit me up during my... Real big run in around 2019 when I had a, a big run with the dancing on the dancing scene because I was one of the, I was one of the top dogs with the dancing scene too. You feel me? So yeah, he ended up hitting me up and shit, and it was just it was cool as hell. Like he was overly cool, overly humble, and yeah, we just chopped it up a lot. And respect to him because I watched him all growing up. He, I, I think I told him too, but yeah, I definitely watched him all growing up since about since I was a, a shorty for real. We around the same age, but when I was about seven. Nigga, I'm typing in Art of Technique, Kid of the Great. Nigga, cause they and that motherfucker going crazy. Like, I, feel me? They just helped me be, you feel me? Me and dancing. And how did you two first meet? Um, I had a show in Sacramento. Basically, I had a show in Sacramento. Me and Debo was on tour. And we met him backstage. He was like, hey, what up, nigga? Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, oh, shit. Kid, what's the word? Nigga, woo, woo, woo. We chop it up. Then, boom. Um... 
Yeah, we just chop it up and shit. We did a dance video. That bitch went viral. On my life, that shit hit like a million views. I still got that bitch archi archived on my um on my Instagram. But yeah, it hit like a million views. That bitch went viral. Everybody was like, oh shit, Chris going crazy, kidder. Because, you know, at that time, I was overly viral with the dance and shit. And he been a legend in the dance and shit. So, yeah, it was just, it was lit, bro. He showed love. You feel me? We turned up at the show. It was, it was lit. Now, was that the only time you've been around him? Or have you been around him? I, uh, I, I was around him... Another time at, at a BET experience. So we, we was at BET experience together. You know what I'm saying? And we, just, we was just vibing, just chilling, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. We was just in there chilling, you know? I think, like, you know what I'm saying? We just, he's just cool people, you know? We not overly, overly tight, but cool people for sure. We see each other, it's love. Now, you mentioned Instagram here. For those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time as well, care to share your screen name on IG? Yeah, my name is Chris underscore gone underscore crazy. You feel me? I got 1.8 million followers, I think. You know, I've been doing social media since I was 13, 12. Really since 2016, but I got famous and busting in 2018. So I've been doing this since then. Like, my name always been Chris gone crazy. That's what they know me as, shit. I don't know.